Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Google AdWords Keyword Research Planner in the new interface. Hello and welcome back. My name is Ozair and I'm going to show you how to use the Google Keyword Planner in the new interface. So let's get started. To start the keyword research, all you need to do is to go into the menu keyword planner and it opens up in a new tab once it loads up uh, you will get the three options search for new keywords using a phrase website or category which I tend to use almost every time so in there you put in your product or service um, keyword or you can put in the landing page URL and Google will then give you uh, all the relevant keywords or you can put in your product category which I never use because sometimes you don't find the right category and sometimes it just gives you some weird um, uh, keywords and phrases which are not at all relevant uh, to my search so I don't want to make it completely automated all I want to do is to put in my uh, key keyword so I'm going to put in dog training okay now the next option is the targeting so whether you want to uh, target in a local uh, area so if you if your business is uh, local national or international um, you can search accordingly so I'm going to put in my local town which is a latent buzzard but then I'm getting other options as well which is uh, the county is the Bedfordshire um, inland or the UK so I'm gonna add that save it English is fine you get the option for Google or Google and search partners I tend to stick to Google only and if you want to add any negative keywords so let's say, for example, uh, my business does not offer puppy training. So I can enter any negative keywords so they won't show up in the uh, uh, search results. Um, you can further customize your searches, but I tend not to use it because I want a broad uh, keyword uh, results and not very narrow ones. And then I can pick and choose which ones are the most uh, relevant for me go to get ideas and now it has given me the search volume trends for the last 12 months and under this drop down I can then see how the searches are made on devices so as you can see the mobile devices has got the most searches so I need to make sure that my website is uh, fully optimized for the mobile devices and the tablets because the majority of the searches are made on uh, from um, small devices and computer or the desktops are only 17% of the total searches. So it's very, very critical that my website works really fast and is uh, friendly on the mobile platform. I can then go and see if I break down by uh, location but as I've just uh, entered uh, Leighton Buzzard it's not giving me any other um, options so let's go into mobile trends and then you can also see that how the mobile um, are trending against the total number of searches so let's go on to the search volume okay now you'll get two tabs over here one is for the keyword ideas so this is exactly what i have searched up there and then i've got all the other relevant um, searches uh, underneath i'll go to the ad group ideas and this is where how you set up your ad groups so google has put together all very similar uh, keywords or phrases 
uh, under doc classes so you can see classes over there now when you are setting up your ad groups I would not recommend you put up more than 10 to 15 uh, keywords per ad group so the way to set them up is to download them open up a spreadsheet and then set all the ad groups with the relevant uh, keywords so we've got school training near me obedience training uh, puppy classes and so on so there's quite a few different um, ad groups and loads and loads of uh, different keywords which i need to go through the other thing which i look at before picking up keywords or phrases is the level of competition now uh, I've seen a lot of the time people get scared when they see the competition being high uh, in fact it is quite good to have competition high because I can see that other advertisers are targeting these keywords and if they are targeting it that means they are running campaigns and they are making money so these keywords are converting well and when there is low competition it means uh, two things either no one has uh, ever considered these keywords and it is something which you can try and see um, that they convert or not and the other one is other advertisers have tried this keyword and they don't convert and they have wasted a lot of their budget on the on these uh, phrases so they've stopped using it so until you don't try uh, you won't be able to see uh, whether they work for you and your and your business another thing which i can uh, show you is this column which is the add to plan again i don't personally use this one um, i can show you how to do that is to click on the blue button and it's going to add that ad group onto your campaign with those 11 keywords in it so if I want to delete any keywords I just click on the X and it's going to delete it from here I can also copy these to clipboard or download them as an ad group and if you make a mistake you can exit or delete it and it's going to disappear from here so i hope you enjoyed this video uh, please don't forget to subscribe comment or like i re really appreciate your time with me and i look forward to seeing you in the next one